Hello and welcome to yet another Fronius uh, how-to video on the smart meter IP. Today we want to talk about how to change the Modbus address that is standard set to one in case you ever want to use more than one smart meter in a system as secondary smart meters. Then you need to change the smart meter, uh, the smart meter address and this I want to show you. Second up, we want to talk about the two dip switches that we can see on the top right corner. It's very hidden on top here. And the one is called termination resistance and the second one is called bias. But this is second up in line. First of all, I want to talk to you about the uh, Modbus address. And for this to be able to change, we need to activate the Wi-Fi access point by pressing the Wi-Fi symbol button for two seconds and then we can see the link LED is blinking which indicates that the access point is open and we head on into our laptop in order to uh, connect with the web interface. All right, when we have entered the web interface, we can see here the already uh, installed system. So measured data and connectivity. And when we scroll down, we come to the page connectivity and further down below, we can read Modbus address, which is set to one. And with this little symbol here, we can click on it. It opens up a submenu. And if we scroll down further, we can see or select Modbus, TCP and RTU. And here it's very easy to change from the standard one to number two or three. So it's that simple and then you can use the smart meter as a secondary meter in a load branch or as a secondary production meter, for example. The only thing you don't need to forget is to hit the save button after you change something, of course. And then we head on to our second topic, which is the termination resistance. And this is only needed when the smart meter is connected, not via LAN or Wi-Fi, but via Modbus RTU. So a free pole cable, which then can be led on to the inverter, for example, in order to have the data communication. If you choose to use that, that's very easy to do via the, uh, the Vago clamps on top here, then you need to make sure to activate the 120 ohm resistance when it is an uh, end component. So as soon as we have in our serial Modbus connection an end component, for example, it would be the smart meter IP, we need to turn this resistance to on. And second up, we have the bias switch right next to the termination switch, which is necessary to turn to on position when it's in the Modbus communication together with a Fronus compatible battery. Only then we need to switch it to on in every other scenario or when we connect it via LAN or Wi-Fi, we can switch it to the off position. 